going to share with you the jobs with the highest hourly rate you can get as a student. And then I'm going to show you how you can maximize your time to earn up to $30,000 a month whilst studying. Throughout university, I juggled five different jobs and I literally don't know how my like admin skills even were capable of doing that. It was, my timetable was a nightmare. I was literally getting up at like four in the morning, going to the gym, driving to work, driving from work to university, running, literally parking my car and running to my classes, then running to the other end of campus for a shift on campus, then running from that back to my car so that I could drive to my like second job. I wouldn't get home until 7 or 8 p.m. I'd have to have dinner and then start studying at 9 or 9.30 p.m. Like it was crazy. So of course I wasn't gonna do all of that unless the hourly rate at these jobs were really high. So I worked crazy hours whilst studying full time. Every pay period, I would see the money come into my account and I would think, is that it? Is that all I got paid? But it got to the point where there were no more hours left in the week for me to be able to physically work without having to drop down to a part-time study mode. The entire six and a half years that I was at university, I was in this rat race of trying to work as many hours as I could so that I could boost my savings. The jobs that I did work were definitely the highest paying active income source that I could find. But since finishing university, I realized there were steps I could have taken to earn $30,000 or more per month. If I could have my time again, I'd only pick two of those jobs and add on a completely different third job that could have made me 30k a month or more. So I'll tell you exactly what two jobs I would have taken and what the third job is after I give you the list of high paying jobs because to be honest that's probably what you came here for. So the first high paying job is childcare and before all of the men watching drop off I worked in before and after school care and majority of the best workers were male. It is such a fun job. You get to work outside, play with all of the kids. You're literally getting paid to play. And it's always one of the higher paying jobs when compared to like admin or retail or hospitality for people who are between the ages of 18 and 21. The second one is one of the best jobs I've literally ever worked in and it was support work. Support work comes in all different shapes and sizes. So you can work one-on-one -on -one with a client or you can work in a group setting. But basically you're just taking people out of their house, giving them a chance to interact with other people, maybe doing activities that they love. Seriously, some shifts I would go and watch a movie. And to top it all off, you get paid like $40 an hour, up to $6 an hour if you're working past midnight or on Saturdays and Sundays. You can also do support work where you like go and stay with people and this is a really awesome option. You can work like a few days on and then a few days off and because you're doing overnight shifts, you get paid really well. The third job is working for your university. This is such a hidden gem of a job. Universities pay really, really well. I was getting paid around $36 to $46 an hour, plus then double time or time and a half on Saturdays and Sundays. This was a really great job. There are lots of different um, jobs that pay this sort of rate at university, like student, student ambassadors, working in the future students team or the student administration team. On top of the great pay rate, this job was extremely fun. You got to work with all other uni students, so you were making a lot of friends and it was just a great environment. So we would highly recommend. The fourth one is private baby sitting. Again, for males watching this video, don't shy away from this. Babysitting pays so well and a lot of the time it's at night so the kids are asleep and you can just sit there and study and so you're getting paid to study. This was such an awesome role for me. I had a lot of experience and I also had like a first aid certificate, my working with children's check and a police check. So I was able to charge $30 an hour for a 10 hour day. So I was literally getting $300 a week for one day of work that was super fun to hang out with some really awesome kids. Another really great option is private tuition. So you can either 
tutor primary school kids or high school kids in some of the subjects that you took at school. You could tutor them in singing or music lessons and you can charge up to like $100 or $150 an hour for this. Obviously depends on potentially the grades that you got or the level that you're at with your music, the amount of experience you have. Now the final two jobs are a little bit different but they're really great if you just want to earn some extra money and maybe you're struggling to get a job or you can't find a job that pays well enough. So the first one is Airtasker. It's really great to be on Airtasker and on your days off or your evenings off, you are like just sitting around and you think, I could really be earning some extra money here, but maybe I couldn't get those hours at work. And you can scroll on Airtasker. There's some really great options. Like I've earned over $400 in two days just by going and dropping things off to people. So picking something up from the shops and dropping, to their, dropping it to their house. The other thing that I do that earns me quite a lot of money is selling things on Facebook Marketplace. Picking things up from the side of the road when they're in good condition and they're being thrown out, I pick them up, take them home, take photos of them, and I sell them on Facebook Marketplace. And it's so easy to earn like $100 to $300 a week doing this. So there's some of the jobs that I have personally done that I absolutely loved as a university student that paid the highest possible hourly rate that I could find and also gave some really great flexibility. But once I got out of university, I realized this massive opportunity that I had passed up. For the last six and a half years, I was breaking my back to work as many hours as I possibly could when I could have been setting up my future and creating passive income sources that would pay me 30K or more per month. If you don't get anything else from this video, the biggest takeaway is that these years at university are a massive opportunity for your financial future. You have been given the gift of time in between your studies, obviously, to build up your income sources and to literally make bank, save a lot, invest a lot. This is a great time for you to take a step ahead in your financial future. The rest of this video is going to show you how you can do this. And spoiler alert, it's got nothing to do with working crazy hours, juggling five jobs like I did. But in my opinion, the best jobs as a student that you can take on and what I would do if I had my time over again is number one, I would find a casual, flexible job on campus. As I said, the university pays so well, it's so much fun, it really makes you feel at home on campus and you have a lot of friends, you're meeting so many people in the same phase of life as you. So for that, it's super beneficial. However, working for the university with such, such a fun job and such a high hourly rate, it can be really tempting to get as many hours here and work here as much as you can. But remember, this time as a young person, as a student, is very valuable. And to make the most of it, I would then recommend getting a second job, getting experience in your field of study. If you don't want to work in your field of study right now, I would really encourage you to think deeply about why are you actually studying what you're studying then? If you don't want to have to go out and work in that field right now, will you ever want to go out and work in that field? The best advice I can give you as a student for the benefit of your career is you should be getting a new job every single year that you're studying in your field. This way you're trialing different employers, you're trialing different types of work in that field and you're really building up a good network. Even though the pay rate may not be as high as some of the other jobs that I mentioned, the experience and the connections and the networks that you are gaining will be invaluable once you graduate and you're looking for a more permanent role. Now for the third job that if I had my time again, I would 100% take on is something that I've been alluding to this entire video. It's what could have been making me 30K a month. It is to work on your own business or your own side hustle part-time. Like I said, there are countless stories of uni students, college students, who started a blog, started a YouTube channel, started an e-commerce store, and now they are earning 10K, 20K, 30K a month. There are so many different options for you to take on here. You're not limited to the, the options that I've just said. One of my friends, Lexi, has, has made her very own app empowering young women. It's called Her Help. I'll put it on the screen here. But 
this is the kind of thing that you could be thinking about. Now, it doesn't have to be as full on as creating your app. That's an amazing thing to do, but it could be something really simple like setting up a print on demand store or starting a blog, something that is relatively easy, relatively low cost. It's definitely not free to start, but it's low cost. And so you can take the money that you're earning from your other two jobs and put some of it towards starting your own passive income source. There's no one regret that I did not do at university. I spent hours, I would work more than a full-time load, juggling all of my five jobs, trying to make as much money as I could. And yet I always felt like there weren't enough hours in the week. If I just sacrificed a few hours of paid work each week and I put those hours into building up a passive income stream, I could be in a much better financial situation right now. Some of these passive income streams take a year or two to really get off the ground, especially something like blogging, YouTube, podcasting. It takes six months to a year minimum to start being paid for your, the content that you're creating. And so if you can start that whilst you're a student, you are going to be leaps and bounds ahead of your peers. Imagine the peace of mind and the financial freedom you could feel if you were earning that kind of money from something that you set up as an 18, 19, 20 year old. So yes, go out and find a casual part or part-time job that gives you a high hourly rate. Yes, go and get experience in the field that you're studying in, but please, please dedicate a few hours a week to building up a passive income stream. Your future self will thank you so much. If you found any value in this video, please give it a like. It helps get this content out to so many other students who are in your same position, who are looking to work out the best options for them. Every person who taps the like button, Connor and I really appreciate it. So thank you. And here's a picture of a really cute rabbit to say thank you. With that being said, have a lovely week and we'll chat soon.